Get Back Golf Club had anything but a quiet winter, and after years of planning, the farmhouse restaurant has finally come to fruition. Oh, the winter, that was a very eventful winter because uh, the weather really was bad for golf, but we did a lot of work here on the farmhouse. Um, we did a lot of work on the property in the last four years. We uh, renovated the golf shop in the winter of 2007 and 2008, um, moved that out of, the, out of the farmhouse, and then this winter we did some major renovations to the farmhouse into a full service restaurant. And after months of remodeling, Daryl's final task would be choosing the perfect chef to head Skipback's newest addition. Jen Moyer Murphy, our executive chef, uh, who has a phenomenal following here in Skipback, because she had a restaurant here years ago, and uh, she was a perfect fit for our facility, a wonderful chef, and uh, we were so excited to have her on board. I used to drive past this place and say, they really need a restaurant in there because I would see the pavilion and they, you know, you could smell the burgers and dogs cooking. I went on to Craigslist one day and they were looking for a food and beverage director and so I sent my resume and said, well, don't you need a chef too? And they're like, well, maybe a line cook. And I'm like, no, I think you need a chef. I mean, this place has so much potential. It's a, it's a beautiful facility. I mean, Daryl and, and Travis and everyone who works here is, is, they're just great because they're just as excited about the restaurant as, as I am. Total renovation of the first floor. We uh, gutted it right down to the walls. We have a all new heat air conditioning system, all new plumbing and electric. And uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, labor of love, uh, because myself and my brother-in-law, uh, Anthony Rosanelli, we did the work on it. And uh, it came out beautiful. The original section was built in 1820. So we wanted to keep it a little more rustic, um, but yet, a little more modern, nice bathrooms. We put some granite in there, granite on the bar top. When I first came to interview, it was a shell. And then they talked about what it was gonna look like and, and how it was gonna come about. And I had the same vision. It's gonna be the hot spot outside of the Skipback Village. It's the Skipback, uh, the unknown of Skipback. We're gonna have the golfers, we're gonna have the patio, we're gonna have the scenic setting, we're gonna be able to do small weddings. So it was, um, it was all the same visions when we had our conversations. We really didn't have a good banquet facility for the golf industry, um, so that, that was the main thing, but also to expand the business into wintertime where we can have off-street dinners. The farmhouse restaurant boasts a wide-ranging wine list, local brews, and with such an experienced chef at the helm, you might be wondering what to expect on the menu. Call it um, contemporary American with an international flair. And as, as you had seen, I prepared a, a dish that was um, with Asian influences. And you'll see that Asian influence. You'll see a little bit of Mediterranean. Um, you'll just see a real nice, hearty Angus beef burger with a bacon onion chutney and some really great fries to go with that. Because as a golfer, you're coming off the course and you'll be like, wow, I'm really hungry for a burger, but I don't want to stop at the pavilion again. I want a burger burger. Uh, menu is just, it's great. Uh, American cuisine, I think I might put a few pounds on this summer for <laughs> eating here, so it's, uh, it's awesome. The quality and the freshness is there. People are like, wow, that was really terrific. The plates go back, there's nothing on them. Uh, the entrees range from $14 to $26. So you're, you're getting a real great value, affordable, you know, you're still, you're leaving satisfied. You're not hungry when you're leaving. Um, we have some really great desserts on the menu. We, we make our desserts here. We have a farmhouse bananas foster that I created. Uh, people are finding that, you know, we have a apothic red on right now that you read the description and the last part of it says it's an attractive mouthful because you're getting these intense flavors of chocolate and mocha and cinnamon and then it's just this really nice red wine, but it's not so harsh that you're like, gosh, I need a glass of water after that, so. Partner and I, Ted Andurka, we're the wine connoisseurs, so we kind of picked that out. Uh, some of our assistants, uh, Tim and Travis, they drink beer, so it was kind of a collective bargaining where we picked the, everybody had their favorites and we put those on the list, so. The golfers like the wings. They, all, they come in and they want hot wings, and they get these wings and they're like, these are like the best wings, they're so meaty. And, I don't know what other people are serving, but we're serving uh, pretty meaty wings. The Goffer is our core business here. So we have the pavilion out back that still has the small, you know, the hamburgers, the hot dogs, the prepared sandwiches, um, you know, french fries, things like that. But then we have a lunch, uh, lunch menu and, and then of course the dinner menu, which, uh, which is awesome. So we're just, we have it for everybody really.
you know, when I think about this menu, I think about the golf course, I think about everything, I think about fresh quality ingredients. Um, I try to keep things local. Uh, I try to use vendors that are going to find local ingredients for me. And I just, I, I, I like to keep it fresh. Simple, fresh ingredients, but with that creative style. As executive chef, Jen is able to create a homemade menu filled with a delicious variety of dishes. Here, Jen prepares us a farmhouse favorite. This is my, it's not a signature dish here, but it's one of the, the entrees that we prepare here, and it's a um, soy ginger glazed salmon. It's actually grilled, then the glaze goes over top, and it's finished in the oven. And then what I'll do is I'll prepare our brown rice, which I call it brown fried vegetable rice, but it's not traditionally fried. And then it's going to be finished with the Napa cabbage slaw, which we make here. And these are our um, these are our wonton crisps, and they're just baked in the oven. So it's a very healthy dish. And when I think of uh, food, I think of healthiness. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this. I have a little bit of olive oil and sesame oil, and I'm going to put this on the grill. And we'll get that started. And then from there, I'm going to begin preparing the brown fried rice, as I call it. Um, so the ingredients today, I have some fresh asparagus, some shiitake mushrooms from the Kennett Square area, some red peppers, onion, edamame, zucchini, and yellow squash. And basically, I'm just going to begin sauteing those ingredients. A little bit of, I use a little bit of olive oil and sesame oil. Give it that little Asian flavor. And the sauce that I'm going to use to um, enhance those flavors is the soy ginger. And that has soy and ginger, some chili garlic. So you're really going to get a nice little bite from that. So we'll start with the mushrooms and the asparagus. Since they're the most raw ingredients, in addition to the zucchini and yellow squash. So I'm actually just going to throw it all in there because it's got to get hot and begin sauteing. I was thinking about uh, springtime because I knew the restaurant was going to open in the springtime and I said, you know, let's do a little bit of Asian flair, something light that people don't normally see at a, a casual fine dining restaurant. So I, I said, let me, let me try this and see what I come up with. And I just, I was playing with ingredients at home and I said, um, this will work, so I brought the recipe down. As you can see, I made grill marks. I'll take that off. I'm going to just finish it in the oven because I, I find that it, it'll stay nice and moist. This is our soy ginger glaze. And we'll just put that in the oven for a few minutes. So once I've done that, then I'm going to add my brown rice. And from there, again, a little bit of this soy ginger. I have a vegetarian stock here, just to give it a little, little more juice. We have um, quite an eclectic group that comes on to the golf course, so everybody has their own flavors. We have wings, of course, because the golfers need wings. And, um, you know, I, it, was, it was just really fun putting this menu together and just all the ingredients in the and I've gotten a good response. People are like, wow, this is really great, or you know, these flavors are so intense, and, and that's what you want. You want people to say, wow, I really want to go back to that restaurant, or after they've golfed, they're like, gosh, I'd really like a good meal. I don't want to go home and have to think about preparing anything. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start plating this up. And with salmon, people sometimes ask for temperature, medium, medium rare. I usually like to cook it to about medium, and then, um, from there, if, if somebody wants it more well done, they'll let the server know. So I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. We'll pull out the salmon. This is really one of my favorite dishes, I think, um, just because it just has a lot of flavor. It pops. It, it has all the ingredients that you need, all your proteins, your fats, but the good fats, the omega from the, the salmon. And there you have it. A little bit of black sesame seed on the top. So I hope you're hungry. I just have a real passion for food. I, I get to cook the food, and then once I'm finished, I get to come out front and say, 
how was everything, you know? And that just is so gratifying to see the, the people's face and they're like, wow, there she is. And it's like stardom or something. They're, they're like, she's a superstar. And I'm like, not really, just your chef tonight.